give a shout out to my friend Aaron Fox, who's just starting to learn to use Animate CC. So I'm going to do a tutorial for her on how to do a rollover to change colors of an object. And when you click it, to count that as a click or count up the number of times you've clicked something. So we're going to start with, I've already got it opened and stuff. We're going to start with an HTML canvas. Make a new one. Great. There you go. That's the hardest part. No, that's not really the hardest part. Uh, you can make this any size. Anytime you want to change something, go over to the Properties tab. You can make it wider. You can make it taller. You can change the background. You can do all that. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to create the... Uh, necessary um, symbols that we're going to use. Now, I said symbols just because I said symbols doesn't mean that I can't use them in HTML5. So I'm going to select gray and I'm going to draw out a nice circle. Now the plan is to roll over this one and it turns blue and then we'll make some other ones that you roll over and they turn red. We need another layer on this so I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to grab my text tool. I'm going to draw it on here. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to use this blue right here just because I like it. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to type a nice capital X. I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it right down there and I'm going to get it the right size. And kind of center it as best I can. And you'll notice that this is a dynamic text and it needs an instance name. I'm going to call it X. There you go. What more could you ask for? I'm going to select both of those. And I'm going to go up to Modify, Convert to Symbol. Now I'm going to call this symbol blue, because that's what it is. And I'm going to choose for type button. There's other ways to do it, but the reason I chose button is because it's really the easiest for what we want to do. And say OK. This new instance, so I'm going to take this, going to delete it, and I'm going to go ahead and delete that one layer too because I don't need it for the time being. I'll go into the library, look there's my symbol one which I'm going to rename to blue, which I don't know why it didn't name blue, but that's okay. We'll just rename it. I'm going to drag it on here, and there you have it. Go to the properties, it needs to be named, I'm going to name this blue one. Okay. I'm going to go back to the library and I'm going to grab another blue one. I'm going to drop it in there. Notice the little magic guides. It's nice. Properties and I'll name this blue two. Okay. And I'm going to go back to the libraries. I said I wanted to do red as well. Well here's the thing. I only want to do, I don't need to do this a bunch of times. I can just right click on this and I can duplicate it. I'll change the name to red, leave it at a button type and say okay now I've got red. So I'll drag that over and drop it. However you will notice that the X is blue but I can double click that, select it and I'm gonna change that to, I'm just gonna use that red here, change that to red and there you go. Now when I drag out the next red one Oops, I forgot. Sometimes when you're in the symbol, you can't drag things over. You must be in scene one to make things work. So I'm going to grab my next red one, drop it over. Notice it's already red. One thing about symbols is that they will stay, They whatever you change them, their children, so to speak, will look all alike. So I'll go to my properties, name the first one red one, click the next one, name that red two. And you can have as many of these as you want. Alright, so we got half the battles done. Now let's make it so we can roll over this thing and turn this one blue and these ones red. Now the easiest way to do that, we could go to the library and we'll take blue and we'll double click it. And you can see this has a upstate, an overstate, a downstate, and a hit state. Well I'm gonna go over here to the overstate and I'm going to go File, Insert, Keyframe. Now it's just a copy. So I'm going to come over here and click the gray. And I'm going to grab my paint bucket. And as you can see, it's changing as I go. And I'm going to pick the same blue. Boom. 
go back to my first layer. And I'm going to do the same thing with the red one. I'm going to, uh, I can come over here, or I could just double click this too. Either one will work. Add a keyframe, insert, timeline, keyframe. And I will change that color to that red. Now, remember I said they're symbols, so go back to sim, and we'll test them so you can see what it looks like and how we test things as we go to control. And we go to test movie in browser. Now when I roll over, that one's red, that one's red, that one's blue, that one's blue. Cool. A lot of the work got done. Now, we need some place to count it, so I'm going to need a text field. So I'll click on my text tool, and I'll make a text field right here. And I, this again is dynamic text, and I'll just call it total. I can put any kind of... Uh, font I want. I can do whatever I want, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to change the color. Uh, let's just make the color black for the time being. Easy enough. All right. So we've got all, it's all set up, ready to go. Now we have to do the little bit of scripting coding. Now we're not using ActionScript because ActionScript does not work as an HTML file. We want this to be HTML. So I'm going to go to the window and I'm going to go to Actions. And when I open my Actions panel, it's just a nice white space I can type in. But over here, right between these brackets, I'm going to click that. And that's going to open up the code snippets. In other words, they help you. Cool. So I'm going to flip down the HTML5 canvas ones. And I come up to the timeline. I'm going to make a new layer. Bent piece of paper. Every Adobe thing is the same. And I'm going to change this to Actions. Boom. So that's half. So I'm going to be doing all my coding in the frame called Actions. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of these X's because I don't need them. Because this is a symbol and it's on the root or the main part of the stage, I'm just going to type the keyword this dot. Now remember we called this blue one dot. Now if you recall that field where we type the X in, I named it X dot. And of course we're looking for text, T E X T, and then we'll have it equal and then empty, two empty um, double quotes and a semicolon. Now if I go test, please note there's no X there anymore. So that's easy enough. Come back here. So we'll just copy this and we'll just make the changes we need to make. So I'll, instead of blue one, it would be blue two. And it would be red one. And you, yes, you would have to do this for every button, depending on how many you have. Uh, we'll get into the other stuff later on how to do groups, but right now we just want to start simple. So test it, you can keep testing it by going command return, pops it in, there you go, no X's. When I click, still nothing happens, but that's fine, that's because we haven't done anything yet. All right, first part done, cool. Now, we need to set up a, um, a click or an add listener, and that's pretty easy to do. Uh, we also need to set up some variables. So let's start setting up a variable. Now when you want to call variable, we go var, var, space, the name of the variable. I'm going to call this count equals zero, semicolon. So we're starting, our variable count starts at zero. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click my first button. Button one, blue. I've selected it. I'm going to come over here in my HTML canvas stuff and I'm going to go for um, event handlers. So what do I want? Right now I want something to happen when I click it so I'm going to use the mouse. I'm going to select the mouse. And I've got this selected and I've clicked mouse click event and I can come up here and just click and there's all the code you need and a bunch of other stuff too. The other stuff are comments. Now, a good, a good programmer writes out comments so you know what you're doing and it tells you what to do. But we're not going to read those. We're going to delete the click a mouse. 
And this is where we're going to put our coding that we want. So the first thing we need to do is get a count. So we're going to go count equals. So we're going to change the variable count. And the way we're going to do it so it keeps adding up is we're going to write the, the term count. So count equals count plus one semicolon. So that's going to count for us each time. Then we're going to say this dot blue one, because that's what we're doing, dot x, dot text, look familiar, equals, and then we're going to put in quotes x, close quotes. All right, so when we click on this, the, the text will turn the x on, back on. Then we're going to say um, this dot. Now remember, we called that field that we were going to count in total. So we'll go the total. This is basically what we're saying. The total dot text equals count, semicolon. And we have one more thing to do. Once we click it, we don't want to be able to click it again, so we have to make it not work. Now we can just take this dot, this one. See, I'm lazy, so I like to just paste it in. Dot. Start, ta ca did it. Start typing mouse. M-O-U-S-E. Enabled. And then equals false semicolon. That's it. Let's test it. So we go, we roll over, it turns blue, we click, we counted one, and there's an X. Now we do these, nothing happens. Now here's the great part about all this. We just do it again, the exact same thing for each one of these. And it'll count up for us. So I'm going to pick blue two, clicked on it. I select mouse click event, I can come up here, click. There we go. You'll notice that it selected the correct button. I'm going to come up here because I'm lazy. And I'm going to copy all this. Copy. And I'm going to come right here. And I'm going to paste it. And since this is 2, I'm going to type in a 2. And then I'm going to type in a 2. And then I'm going to test it. I test a lot just to make sure it works. So we got 1. Two, aha, these still don't work, but it's the same procedure every time. So I'm going to click. I got my mouse event right here. All right, I'm going to paste what I already did. So this is in blue one. Now this is red and red. And because I'm really lazy, I'm not going to even test it. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click this one. Mouse click. Now you could double click this and it'll throw it in there too. You don't have to go with the other one. I'm going to delete this. Paste. This is red 2. And red 2. Here we go. Command return. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we cannot come back. Whoops, that one didn't work. I didn't do something right, so we better go back and do some troubleshooting. She planned it that way. Ha, ha, ha. I did not type in, for the disabled right here, I did not type in 2. That's one of the common problems that can happen if you're going to do the cut, the cut and paste or the copy and paste. Make sure the things are right. So let's do that again. Command return. And 1 and two, and three, and four, and I can click away all I want, and they won't change, so you can only count your vote once. Now, I know this wasn't pretty. But it's going to be a whole lot prettier. This was just a demo on how to get started and how to do things. So that's how to do a rollover with a click your vote, count, change text, and do a little bit of coding. 
So we've got one more thing to do, so make it usable in a website or in, in another page, whatever we need to publish it. So we go File. We can do Publish Settings. Now what do we want to publish it as? We can publish it as HTML. I prefer to make mine centered and responsive. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then just click Publish. Now you need a name, so I'm going to call this uh, Counting Votes. It would be a good output name. And I would say go to my folder, counting votes. I'm going to make a new folder, counting votes. And then I'll save it. And then we can publish it. And that's it. It is now an HTML. So, okay. That's it. I'm done. No more. Finished. Bye-bye.